It's fitting that Stu Peterson is a hitting coach for a team that sports the colors blue and white. You're just here. Now let me go get it. Because back in Peterson's playing days, he was an outfielder for the Dodgers. I enjoy it. It's, uh, this is kind of get my baseball fix up here. I come up here for two months and get an opportunity, and it's fun to go back during their baseball season at the college and kind of follow them and kind of see who's, who's doing good. Father to four, Peterson has two sons playing professional baseball. I coach their little league and stuff and, you know, kind of coach them all the way through. And, you know, they, they really enjoyed it. And, you know, I didn't really push them. My wife or I didn't push them towards it or anything. There's Tiger, who was drafted by the Dodgers and is a part of the California Independent League. And Jock, center fielder for the Dodgers. This one is blasted way out of here. Sounds like the Dodgers organization really likes your family. Uh, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> well, they like my other son better than they like me, but that's all right. <laughs> it's working for him. Number 20 for the rookie, Josh Peterson. But it's hard not to like the Rookie of the Year candidate when he has the longest average home run distance in the MLB. I don't go by Stu anymore. I just go by Jock's dad. And a spot on the National League All-Star Team roster. I knew he had the work ethic. I knew he had the skills. It's just a matter of, you know, putting your time in and keep working, keep working. Don't take things for granted. Drafted out of high school in the 11th round, 352nd overall, Jock knows his chances of being called up were slim. That's why he always strives to be his absolute best. They play games at 7 o'clock at night. He's at the ballpark at 1 o'clock. He's there every day early. His coach will say, you know, he beats the coaches to the ballpark. You know, but that's what he wants to do. Like what Stu wants to do is make summers in Alaska a new tradition. My experience up here has been great. Hopefully, they'll keep wanting me to come back. Despite being separated by 3,400 miles, the two will always be connected through the blue and white. And through the love of the ball game. Beth O'Donnell, Channel 2 Sports.